All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone out there in the crowd knows what time it is. The arena is back with a special event for the MK community. And today, of course, we're going to take you for a ride. If you expect some great MK gameplay, you're at the right place. If you're expecting some professional commentary, then it's definitely the wrong one, wrong though, place. because <laughs> we are back trying to host yet another MK tournament for and with the community. But Fabs, what can I say? $100 on the line, sponsored by one of our community members, Smile Gym, towards the players. A phenomenal bracket is ahead of us, and we are here too. What do you say? Awesome. I'm here ready for this top eight. It's always nice when you commented and then you get another top yeah, eight after. Yeah. But like the people just need more content. But yo, these top eights are a way for people to discover new favorite players That's and true. just, you know, uh, to get more insight on what they're dealing with here in our arena exactly. in the competition. And honestly, Fabs, I gotta say, from time to time, I'm a big fan of these standalone top 8s with a prize pool. Of course, you guys know it, we in the MK community are in a somewhat diff difficult position, I want to say, because it is very, very hard to get official sponsors for the game. Not only we in the arena, I think I speak for every tournament organizer, and I even speak for NRS themselves, because, you know, yeah. even official NRS tourneys, pro competition, there's no real sponsoring involved, just due yeah. to the fact that it is a very you know, a little bit of a bloody game. But yeah. that's why I just want to say here in the beginning that Fabs and I are super, super grateful because the arena, you know it, guys, 100% crowdfunded, crowdfunded and going strong for more than four years already. But now, enough talk. Let's take a look at our bracket. And then what I want to read in the chat, who is your favorite, everyone? We start with Aero versus Pyrex. Once again, the reminder, Ooh. single elimination top eight all the way, baby. If you want to grab that $100 check, you have to win every single set. No safety net of lower Three. bracket available to the players. Nuji versus Social coming right after. Yes, Fab Social, we talked about him during our qualifier event today. Right now, literally one of the superstars in this community with a very, very strong run, especially in our Season 8 event. Gonna be sweaty. Nuji is always one of those players that people uh, like just, just always look at him and be like, wow, this guy is always surprising me, you know, lots of creativity. Going up against Social, the boy of the moment, the player of the moment. Everyone is hyping him up lately. Let's see what happens there. Up yeah. next on Joe, oh, that lower side. We got Skibbity yeah, X little bit. Yo, versus what So Set. Gonna be a good match. I'm a big So Set fan. You guys know it. Even back in the MK11 days, I'm not even sure if our YouTube site knows. So Set was, in my opinion, the best collector in MK11. Very, very strong. And uh, yeah, cannot wait to see him in action today versus Young Fire X. And then last but not least, Fabs. Rinsler oh versus Kafursko. And with oh. Rinsler, I'm never really sure what character he's gonna bring. Is it gonna be that Lee May? Is it gonna be Reiko? Is it gonna be what? something completely different? What I know for sure is that I love this community. I love the YouTube site. We're diving into match number one. The players are here. Good luck to Pyrex and Aero, especially in this single elimination tournament. And a big thank you to my boy Smilechimp. Uh, especially good luck to Aero because you know why I'm saying good luck to Aero. All right, turn your volume down as well, just in case, ahead of the set. <laughs> and here we are again. Match number one is officially Barack starting. Smith. It is going to be a long Don't day for Fabs me. and me, but I wouldn't spend it with Can anyone else, Fabs. Living forest. I lost my family too, Baraka. The pain never ends, does it? Round one. Chat prediction, by the way, 65% on Pyrex and 17% on Aero. And Pyrex already starting with the Pyrex Copter. Let's go. Baraka Kano. The staple Pyrex pick. Auto Shimmy cancels the Kano. Bit of awareness there. Not easy to do if you're not like ready to do like those mechanical R1s and back threes. Like it's really like quick, you have to do to cancel that cannonball. ball. Arrow, immediate wake up, response. Oh, I like those chameleon. I like it as well, perhaps. Yes. Combo. Blue cancel in the corner. Pyrex trying to make the right call out. Has a huge life lead available right now. But that doesn't mean a lot versus Smoke because this character can literally mix Play. you to death with three touches. Just oh, like that, sliding in those DMs saying, What's up, baby? Pyrex has breaker available. Oh, this is not going to be able to trigger Breaker. This is a good hit. Off of a raw teleport into Fenlip. Who would have thought? What a way to get damage in Arrow. 
This might be like a 40 something. Is it gonna reach 40? That is a burger. Is not quite, but 30 A is still not too shabby, but Pyrrhix wakes up with violence chat. So much violence and I wake up. Wow. I can't even react or block. Round two. Fight. That was good. Right under the projectile, the arrow literally found the perfect timing. Oki again releases the Kano. This is what he does all the time. He always like causes the Kano, goes to the Shimmy. If the Shimmy connects, Kano canceled. If the Shimmy uh, gets blocked, then Kano pressure. I love this stuff from Pyrrhix. Ooh, down two. Could have been a big conversion if he canceled it down two. And this is already starting sweaty chat. Okay, who in the chat has some snacks ready right now? Drop a one in the chat. Little fun fact for you guys, you know, behind the scenes footage. Fatal. Wait, oh wait, this, this is gonna be huge. Wait, I gotta be silent. Pyrrhix? <laughs> he hit the cameo and then uh, went for the full conversion. Wait, is it too late for Pyrrhix? Perhaps you hit the silence? Wait, wait, wait. It is... Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. never mind. Never mind. Never mind, chat. I honestly thought it might be past Pyrrhic's bedtime already, and he's not allowed to talk on the mic anymore. Do you guys still hear him in the background? I love this dude. But what I actually wanted to say, guys, actually a fun story, because whenever Pebs and I, let me switch cameras, whenever Pebs and I host a double event, you know, basically regular league qualifier for two hours and then the top eight right after, Morocco. during that 10 minute window, we do everything. Okay. Toilet, snacks, Pebs <laughs> literally <laughs> rushing to the kitchen within two minutes trying to snack something so we are ready. It is so beautiful. Man, Pebs, honestly, I'm so proud to have you in this team. Much love to you, brother. Pebs, honestly, deserves so much love, guys. The... I've literally never seen someone with a work ethic like that. Fabs is always ready. Always, 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 always. Here he's just with a single stagger, you know, testing the waters here. Good stuff there again, more. I feel like if you just floss block everything and you get your turn after. Oh, that didn't connect? There we go. Arrow, a lot of damage. Being missed out there. Oh, the overhead invisible. I saw the movement as a screen shake before the overhead connected. That was really funny. Oh, they're just raw? Yeah, that is good. Yeah, Aero is slowly adapting. Port, is. Oh, the Chameleon Glaive. The hater break at 120 HP. Erex? How are you doing this to us? The hater break was not successful. Well, perhaps it honestly might be a long evening for us. It could potentially go the full distance here, match number one. Good check. Here is playing footies with a needle in his arm. Moon available. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Overhead. Back to him. Kano available here for the pressure. Um, more pressure coming your way. Good. So from Aero, but not. Oh, wait. He's still breathing in the corner, though. Can he get away out? I think that's his oh. only mission. Get out of the corner. And, you know, at least he's not in the corner. Anymore, yeah, he technically. Found some space. Final found some space to play with here. Fight. Has going to have a glaive available soon. Tries to call the glaive. Got hit. Oh, the read with the yacht block. Beautiful. It wasn't a punish, but still. A lot of movement and side switches. Watch for the overhead. Times. Watch for the mix. Watch for the mix. Well, Pyrrhix like a turtle. But I gotta say, Pyrrhix is making a lot of good callouts when to press versus smoke. Oh, shim it! Good stuff. Mirrorless damage is being dished out. Oh, Cancel no. the Kano. This is the confirm. And we call the boy again. Bro. 
He might be the most special player we have, Fabs. <laughs> he blows the air into his mic, Social. Baraka. Smoke. Kano. Could technically be a fart, though, so you might be right. Sector, the gateway. <laughs> Yeah, Robo, that's the question. I cannot answer, unfortunately. Maybe I gotta ask Pyrrhus if he can put up a webcam the next time, you know, while he's doing it. But right now, match point. See the arrow. Get anything going. Going for the sector this time. On the smoke. Lost blocks. Good defense from Pyrrhus. Not being opened up. There we go. Over right here next. Gotta be careful here. There we go. If you make the right read against smoke, you do get rewarded. Heavily. Wait, what did I say, guys? Did I say something wrong again? I didn't even mean it in that, in that way. Overhead. Gotta be careful. And here's the spacing on those needles. Blade. Wait a minute. Oh, he's like, I'm not guessing nice anything. Yeah? He's, he's like, I'm not guessing anything. Get over here. Let me just press. Oh, what is going on? Can someone kill? Low. Connect. Can someone get a hit confirm in this round before I freak out? Oh, he, he, just... he risked it all on this one. So many confirms missed. Part. Oh my god. That was that was dreadful. Unlucky here for both. I mean for Arrow. Get checks. Doesn't get the whip punish. Cancels. Gets the interruption. Sector missed out. Stops him though. Pretty cool. Up blocks the miss, but like up blocks the missile gives you like not much advantage, honestly. Might as well just hold it, and then you get the heart to blockable for no reason. Get launched though. Hero needs to reverse the 3 0. Oh, the Jackie combo. Fab's giving me those, you know, MK11 flashbacks. Oh, Pyrrhic. So dominant. Whatever he's saying. We need an official Pyrrhic translator at this point. Anyone watching this on YouTube who wants to volunteer, you know, you're more than welcome. He is still yapping in the background, Fabs. We are completely useless at this point. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our single elimination top. He is still going! Pyrrhix, I'm trying to host a tournament! He said, What tournament? This is my tournament. Thank you, Pyrrhix. He's still in that Oh man, I love Pyrrhix. Who is now officially in the semi-finals, by the way. Made it to round number two. And that means, perhaps, for us, we are inviting Nuji versus Social. And I want to hear oh your boy. opinion on this. This is going to be sweaty. I'm not going to lie. This is one of those sets where... It's one of those sets where you're just going to have to expect the highest level, the craziest conversions, you know, outplaying out of this world. And yeah, the players here will have to... Be in their bags. I'm watching. Gonna the thing is, social one. right now, we talked about it enough. Such a strong player, fundamental wise. You know what I mean? He has everything reaction time, matchup knowledge, like experience since the very, very early MK11 days. Let's see how Nuji deals with it. But I have a feeling that we might see a ball roll uh, at round start, oh, as yeah, always. For sure, for sure. The players are already in the lobby, guys. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I hope you enjoy this top eight tournament. $100 payout to the winner. And that is not too shabby for playing a little bit of MK1, perhaps. I know, right? Some, some gaming here and there. Message 
your last chance to beg my forgiveness. <laughs> Why would I want that? Let's get a, get a few party vibes going in the chat. Turn the volume up. Let's go. Oh, social Nuji, the game we wanted. It. I'm hyped for it. It's even more big Bubba Frankie. The entire family is here. Business cat, evil carnage, and of course my boy Ooh. Christian, aka Spicy, also as well. Dropping the combo there, Nuji, getting punished for dropping. Not something you want. You want to get punished for, you know, getting opened up. Oh, but look at them dropping a lot of combos right now. Life leads. Pretty equal. Oh. Socialist fishy for the 72. Yeah, trying to close the gap oh. so we can get in that 72 range. Wait, no follow up. Try to go for the overhead reset. Interesting option, to be honest. Thing. Blocks right. He runs away. I think he has to do like a full fair. Oh my god. Wait, Nuji, that is going to be a cash out. Wait, Not where is of auto damage. Oh, that was scary. I feel like he will almost fall behind him right there. But now, Farah's is going to be back. Which means Nuji can go for like anything random into Farah and just cover himself. Also, oh, with a tried. beautiful call out on this one. He tried. He tried. He tried. Round two. Fight. Seventy-two percent. End the dream. So she got caught off guard by the overhead. Nice stuff, and now this is the, the this is the forest part here. Having to open up Melina when she has two bars of meter. Yeah, she's oh, but the mine cover for him. No conversion for social. This is messy, very very messy. Ooh. Fight. That looks like another close match once again. Great matchup knowledge. Mavado coming in. Looking good here. The random ball roll fast. Yep, that is a true Melina main right there. There we go. How does he get the opening now? Ooh, the wake up armor every single time. Nuki does not want to wake up and respect Soul Show in any scenario right now. Finds the Mavado full screen. Oh, and the delayed string. Has, has Fair available. Uses it. Makes it with the grab. And, and Nuji is saying hello, everyone. 28% only in terms of viewer prediction. But my boy is a sweat. Yo, and Thotrex, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Guys, as always, thank you so much for the support, for spending time with us. Even though this is an extended arena stream tonight, we're going to be live for more than four hours. But thank you so much for staying with us, for supporting the players, for keeping us going, and of course, for supporting their future health transplant, which is hopefully coming very, very soon. <laughs> Corrupted forest. You've squandered your chance for mercy. I want none from you, Empress. Round oh, Social is going to his main faps. That Reiko. Social, one of the best Reikos in the world, guys. The oh, delay was nasty from the Geo days. Reiko is a machine in the business. Media wake up armor again. Nuji is always waking up armor, even without Farah. Just keep going. Now the Reiko here. So maybe because he wants to get more control in neutral. Guess is right. Misses the punish, and that is 
Not a good day for Solstra right now. That ferret's definitely messing up with his mind. There we go. Finds the hit this time. A little hard to confirm there because of the float she gets after blocking. Oh! Man, this is a close okay. one. Okay, full combo. Yeah, I think it, it does as well. Let's see the optimization from Social. Ooh. Not yet. Good patience. Yeah, that could have killed Social if you try to press after the, <laughs> the block. But Nuji also caught the fair a bit too early, so. Oh my. Armor to the Pharah. This is exactly what I have to do every single time you see Pharah out there. Nice. The usher, uh, the, the grab. What's for Oki? Mid again. These wake up armors from Nuji just not respecting the options from Sojo. That is, that is crazy, Fabs. Especially that I have to commentate this right here after my official bedtime. Guys, I, I would be sleeping already. Full cash out. 40. Press. There we go. Social was looking for that ball roll. Finish her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Social is pissed. Social is back. so pissed. T backs in top eight. Breaker win. I don't even know what to say, guys. I don't even know what to say. Social is in the chat saying, use your freaking block button. <laughs> Fabs, they shit talk. Rico. Oh, let's see how the, uh, let's see how this one is gonna gonna turn out. Now it's getting interesting, chat. Now now we have a little, you know. If we're bagging, this means this is this is uh, this is uh. We got a game. We got a game. But the thing is, though, if someone wants you to block, they want to condition you to block it, right? That means if you don't block, you're not prepared for it, and you might snatch the round. So. Nuji is doing good by uh, being random and, 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 you know, pressing first. Why respect something that is not really getting you punished for not respecting, you know what I mean? Let's see that. I'm glued to the screen once again. Social right now. Something very strong. Oh. Good block on the chameleon as well. Social just in, now seems to be enforcing more of these uh, frame advantages and stuff like that. The blocks, nice stuff. Knows that the Nuji loves launching with the low size when he picks this chameleon version. Fight. This chameleon team. Jails. Oh man, he's harassing him with that down four. Then the cash. Oh, the mix. Movement here. I can hear the footsteps. I can get the full punish there. Oh, but it finds the extension with the tremor punch. Oh, so so this is going to be a brute. Yep, here it is. We are throwing hands in MK1 tonight. Even as a corpse, you're disappointing. Brutality. Reiko wins. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Soul Show, probably one of the favorites to make the whole tournament alongside uh, So Sad and maybe Firax as well. So, gonna be crazy here to see how all these interact. Yeah, it, it is a good bracket we have ahead of us. But don't count Nuji out though. This man is on reverse 3-0s, this is a minute flip brackets and everything. He's no stranger to the danger. Let's see. Is it going to be a character or a camera switch? 
Dark Cotton Colony. I've given Kotal Shao's old post. That Ash Tech could never replace him. Round one. Fight. Yo, Django, thank you so much, brother. Gifting us up to social stand. <laughs> Social show stand. Oh, we get, we get stand accounts now. Man, you might be Rother part two. This might be second Rother now. The people champ version. Evil top tier. Blocks. Extension. He jumps away from the tremor. Jumping off of the plus frames. Oh, I love this. On the top. Yeah, I think Nuji at this point is his only mission is to to tilt social at this point. No, but like Reiko really wants to like tame you down and make sure you block because he gets the command grab, right? Exactly. So like of course Nuji should mash. Oh, that was an infinite error. Ooh. I've heard that the conversion for that command grab in the corner is really tough. So not a, a rare drop there. Nice. Spends two bars already. Goes for the ball roll. Oh, and he but can't a punish. Missed opportunity. Yep. Didn't reach. You know he's mad. You just know this man is pissed. Going for safe launchers. Playing his range. Jumps away. Has to chase more. I wouldn't be surprised if Solskjaer loses, he goes to the Homelander. <laughs> Not even joking. Oh, finds the mid! Board home connects! Oh, wake up button! Yeah, uh, Nuji. Nuji! Right now, doesn't want to lose his turn. You say, let's press some buttons tonight. One more! The grab! And he gets the low Oh, this side. is unbelievable. We are going to a no game bad. five. Don't count Nuji out, man. Let's see what character Social has here to answer. Being the favorite for this tournament, going to be uh, interesting. Smart does have a lot of, uh, what have you done with this bracket? He does have like a lot of characters in this pocket. Let's see which one he uses. Maybe not Reiko here this time. Thoughtrack still going crazy. Melina. And of course, we're gonna set the arena on fire, give us some emotes, go crazy. And of course, Fabs and I, we hope that you enjoy the action so far. We're even close to a hype train, Fabs. It can't get better than this. Let me press this button ASAP. Let's go. Alrighty. Game five. I need to see, uh, I mean, this is a game five worthy of hype. Okay. Unless he goes to the evil lander, which I'm pretty sure he might. Cause like Melina is getting a lot of mix ups onto Solstro with that ferret team. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes home later to get, you know, five back to mix. But Nuji's saying go home lander. Do it, do it, do it. I mean, you heard the boy, you heard the man. Fabs, our game five song man. is about to be over and <laughs> the, the match hasn't even started. Guys, they're playing for money in a day, okay? They're playing for money, okay? Reiko. Those Reiko? Okay. Tomb of the Dragon Army. The knives are out for you, Empress. Social HD. As they are each it's and Niji, every other day. UK. Double mini. There, just to, you know, take them off. Round one, five. Okay, let's see who's gonna take it. Oh no, I shouldn't slide. He runs away from the fair instead of <laughs> punishing right. it. Oh, he's mad. Where's the first hit? There we go. That was the first hit of the round. <laughs> Jesus, that took so long. wrong there that's a punish goes for the up block and he's getting oh triggered by the this is random social still going though who cares the block there we go this should kill 
social right now looking solid, but this is back and forth, honestly. Fight. Oh, the mix damage. That Kong Sarah right there, the one that messes up your frost block timings, but makes you have to guess and not armor instead, you know. Good stuff. Punish him. Oh, but no! So many missed opportunities, some weird interactions we're seeing in this one. Is this Reiko's first hit jab? It doesn't have enough range. So you have to dash up a little bit deeper. That's a side switch? Is he gonna run away or go forward? He goes forward. Nuji only knows one direction, and that is north. Good challenge. Oh, oh and Mid, Nuji trying to press on wake up again. Social. I think one conversion. Oh, now it's a guessing game. No resources. Is it gonna be a hard to block Wait. with it? Strike throw. Wake up armor, oh. of course, Chet. Bro, Nuji does not block on a wake up. My hero. Fight. Of the people. Oh. He doesn't care, and I love it. I love it too. I should need slide. Surrender. <laughs> that match is crazy. Watch for the ball roll. Watch for the ball roll. Watch for the ball roll. Nice. And do I have the Farah? That breaks the armor in Nuji. Has no Farah. Has the option to wake up though. Comes out. I mean, has a life lead. Against a really good player. Lux right. No punish again. Oh, wish you're missing out on so much damage. Just dashing forward. Dashing forward again. Bro, I can't Ball take this anymore. Ball rogue. And another, another missed one. opportunity. Perhaps I can't take it. Oh no, this is too much. Optimization. One more strike throw. Random. I can't. It's not over. Nuji's just not jumping over. back and sniping him right out of the skies. I think Social is going to have a nightmare tonight. Nuji. The killer of predictions. Don't count Nuji out. Bro, Nuji in the chat is saying Social is such a, a much better player. That would tilt me so much if I would be Social, to be honest. Social's like, like, that's even so worse rude. than T-Bex. I mean, to be fair, he missed at least three punishes on ball rolls and, and feralos at the end. So that was... It, that that's was not so Nuji's problem. Weird. But man, Reiko's range on that uh, jab is so low. Like, how do you... Do you have to da like deep dash to punish a uh, ball roll? Damn. That was one of the funniest matches ever, Fabs. I think we can all agree on it. And that means even better, later on, we're gonna see Nuji versus Pyrrhix. Let's take a look at oh, the bracket chat. Yeah. First semi-final. Wait, what happened here to, to Nuji's name? Wait, let me adjust. Bam. Here we are. So Nuji is gonna meet Pyrrhix later on. Coming up next, Young Skibbity X versus Soul Set. Of course, we're talking about our Young Stuff Fire X. Fabs, this is going to be another good match. I love this bracket so far. Very diverse in terms of characters. And let's see who's going to conquer it all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see beef in the chat already. Oh, what is happening? God. Oh, God. You said you're terrible at this game. Stick oh, baby. Trash cat. Oh, God. Oh man, all of a sudden I want to put 50 USD into, into first to 10 in here, but, but oh my, this, this I feel like if, if we keep going, this stream is not going to end, so let's just do this top 8, let's finish this top 8. I was about to say Fabs, yep, let's get back to business everyone, of course, you know, it is MK, everyone gets tilted from time to time, but at the end of the day guys, we're trying to have fun here, so please never take it outside the game. Players are here, let's go. So what are the characters? Soul set. Definitely shall, right? It is. Do you think or when Gears? we get? Do you think, Fabs, when we get those Gears buffs with the Ghost Face patch, that Soul General Set might shall. return to that character? That's what I'm saying. We might because he's gonna be able to get like a lot of uh, combos there. from his command grab, which is pretty sick Zendor. with like multiple cameos. We might see a team that's hitting for like 40 off of command grabs, and we might actually, for the first time. You know how I said Gyrus hits like he's like a, the WWE star, like a, like a, a wrestler? We might see a grappler version of Gyrus where he's getting these throw combos all the time. Dremor. 
Let's go. Send out Trem Trem. Ciao. Dector. The team. Match number three <laughs> coming up, everyone. Has played you for a fool. Which they are, if they think I'll forget. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. SSD, fire axe. Oh, wait, a little bit faster this time. Hold on. Wait, did you think he upgraded? Did he did get the up fire. hashtag upgrade? Beautiful. He knows the range where you cannot poke against him because that sector teleport is ready. It's not like he's OS the up block on the wake up there as well. Good stuff. Yo, so says defense. Even though it was like only 10 seconds worth of action, I already see his defense is improving so much more. Like, he plays to counter your wake-up pokes and your wake-up armors, you know what I mean? Which is really cool. My realm needs Round two. Fight. Again, like, yes. like, he plays I like that. to counter the pokes and the wake-ups. It's different. He doesn't just dash up poke. He reads what your options are going to be, which is, like, a definitely interesting uh, play style. Into the flamethrower. Oh! Again, he read that, uh, like, the, the movement there from Firax again. Interesting playstyle from Sosa. I love watching this guy play. I think Sosa, especially in the last week's Fabs, I, I don't know, he plays so solid. Yeah. Really respectable player. Okay, guys, I, I have to say, you're getting on my nerves in the chat. From now on, my mods, when they keep talking, like, just time them out. I, I don't want to read it anymore. Fabs and I, we're trying to have fun here. It, it is enough. It is a never-ending... It is going to end in a loop. Regina, just time them all out. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm commenting. I'm looking at the bottom corner. I'm still seeing like the leaf. Oh, beautiful. Opening the Tekka Miss out. And, oh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Break. It's going on for like 15 minutes now. We are trying to get to the next match, guys. It's over. Take it to the M's. Oh. Whatever. I don't want to read it anymore. Beautiful stuff. So sad. Now wasting time. So said, one oh up. Firex. Let's see if we're gonna see some adaptations. But so, so sets Shao Fabs. It doesn't matter what matchup it is. He can play versus yeah. everyone. No, like I, I feel like the way he's playing, he's really enforcing um, Firex to not poke from that far because of the threat of the you know sector teleport, or to not even try to wake up armor because he covers all these options. So. The best way for Firex is to play honest, you know, don't try and, and mash poke from those ranges. Don't try and like go for teleport uh, armors on these scenarios because he's covering those. And no, instead of... Okay, I respect that. Goes to the zoning variation, which is... But perhaps it is so demonic, right? We have 100 bucks payout, but it is a single elimination first the three tournament. Yeah. It, is, it is a heartbreak. I think instead of trying to adapt to your current team, switching to the Sub-Zero immediately just to zone is... I respect it. There we go. I don't know if you guys I'm... remember. Perhaps I have to tell the story real quick. Guys, back then in MK11, we hosted a $150 first to one top eight single elimination okay. tournament. You guys don't want to believe how many sub zeros we had. Four two fatal. Four two fatal. Oh, beautiful fire X. Yo, I like the adaptation then. I like it too. Like. He didn't adapt to the Tremor, he just went sub zero and said, you know what? You're gonna play my game now, you're gonna walk towards me in my Monclizzy. Oh, goes to the armor there. But he stopped poking from mid-range because of that uh, second teleport. He stopped. Beautiful! So the right now trying to bring these back. Oh my god. Beautiful. The fact that that move is an overhead and nobody blocks it, it's, it's kind of funny. Punishable. Could have been a punish again. Oh, it's still pressing. So sad. Unstoppable here. Plus Plus frames. Single hitting pressure opens up fire axe. That is brown. Good stuff. He did some single hitting buttons right there, and fire axe like, okay, let me armor and challenge that. But so sad, walks back and lets everything whip. Again, this guy plays to counter all of your 
like dishonest attempts of getting your turn, you know? I love it. That is a good point, yeah. Good flawless block. Man, so whenever he's on screen perhaps, I'm just sitting here taking notes. Oh, again! Try to pull from that far? Either teleport with Sector or jump in. Like, again, dude, respect the neutral. Respect him. Like, he is not letting any of these attempts to get your turn slide. Finish Covering him. everything. Wow. This is a... A lesson in neutral that we're, we're being taught right now. That means 2-0 oh, is so sad oh, sitting on sweet point. Yo, and Jafia, thank you so much for the subscription here for six months. Saying best Twitch channel for MK1 shenanigans. Thank you, Ribs. Love you, brother. Shout out to Fabs, Mr. Knowledge himself. Oh, that means a lot, Jafia. Thank you so much for the support. And of course, we speak to the entire community here, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for us on a daily basis. If we don't conquer, we will be conquered. Why must Outworld be aggressive to be strong? And Arkin is saying, I don't even play MK1 anymore, but these matches are super, super hype. Fabs, that's literally one of the biggest compliments we can get. That's honestly awesome. And someone that doesn't watch the, um, you know, the streams. I mean, the, the, someone that doesn't, doesn't play the really game actively watch play the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's really sick, man. Also, one thing for sure, if I see some Kenshi, you know, upplay out there, I will call it out. <laughs> someone said Kenshi is untouchable. Guys, he got, he got, he got nerfed three times already. What do you mean untouchable? There it is. Oh, it's only it out. Don't say it again. Attention back to him. Spotlight on this man right now. He's playing neutral so consistently. There we go. Fire Axe hit his turn. Oh. The fact that he made Fire Axe switch cameos up every single loss means that he does not want to yeah, try playing the same cameo. Yeah, is playing so solid. Yeah. Ooh, that was... But that was good. Wait a minute. Do we cash out or do we sneak in another reset potentially? Oh, goes through the full. And I think this is going to be put uh, toasted in a scenario where strike throw kills him. Or Lao Hat into sweep, Lao Hat into overhead, Lao Hat into grab. So watch out for the options. Toasted can have. Also, watch out for the fatal blow from full screen. Oh my god, the double missiles. Guy's crazy. Fight. Stuff. But even though he doesn't have the like the zoning advantage, he's still able to play this neutral against Fire Axe really well. That is a good set. The Fire oh, Axe, of course, is trying to get at least on the scoreboard. Yeah, man, like a play like Fire Axe struggling to get an opening on Joseph is insane, honestly. This kid is like one of the best Indels in Europe. Nice. There we go, super delayed mid, finding the op opening on Zozad. Beautiful. Axe down. Confirm with the hat too far. Oh no. There's a mix coming. The thing about Zozad is perhaps you can never count him out. Even when he's with his back against the wall and the opponent has such a huge life lead. Okay, never mind. But he is such a dangerous player. Yeah, that was so dangerous that Fire Axe didn't even want to go for the heart to blockable. He just went for the guaranteed chip, <laughs> which is it's, it's funny. Delayed grab. So sad. Now playing a bit more defensive, you know. I feel like he uh, started respecting Fire Axe a bit more here in this round. Fire Axe, the opposite. Getting more comfortable in neutral now. Going for these walk up delayed grabs. Whenever a matchup gets into the scenario where they're playing with timings, that's when you know it's high level. Oh, Instead yeah. of the dash up buttons, oh, yeah. it's dash up nothing. And so we put it. Oh, wait, max range actually didn't connect this time. Be careful pressing. What the hell is this fake? That's gonna work. That's gonna be an end there. That door. What was that noise, Fabs? Sorry, I got too excited. 
I love when people do sector fatal blows like that, you know, in mid top. Again! Oh my god! Did you get Oki? Wait a minute. No confirm! Oh, oh, the, oh and he is oh. going right over the bus saw. No resources for both. Next touch gonna kill most likely. So sad. Swinging oh, that axe. Plus frames. That was GG's. Wow. Wow. Even like wow. So sad right now. Just a true Dark Souls boss. Some great decision making in the end as well for the chip out, you know, for the guaranteed pressure. Beautiful match from start to finish. Good stuff. But perhaps just like that, for us, it's time to host the last match of round number one before we dive into the semi finals. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Kafursko versus Rinsler? And I still have no idea what character Rinsler is actually going to bring. He has so many potential candidates. Is it going to be Reiko? Is it going to be Lee Mei? Is it going to be Baraka like in the early days? Perhaps what is your call? Oh man, I know Rinsler. Okay, I think what you should be focusing here is not... Is if Kirfersko is going to bring the Shujenko when Rinzer brings a Reiko. Do you know what Shujenko takes from Reiko? Oh, His that command, command grab. Yeah, it is grab. so strong. And if there is one little genius out here that knows all those conversions that you do not want to go up against, it's Kefersko. And Kefersko for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure has like this touch of death against uh reiko so rinsler should never touch this reiko if he like wants to live <laughs> let me let me switch cameras real quick goku I, I see the magic goku saying sorry i wasn't trying to keep you guys on hold about the argument in the chat for video goku i i never mean it like in a super super bad way when i say it. but of course febs and i our main reason and guys the reason why we host these events is we want to entertain people you know we want to make you guys smile positive. if you guys are having a rough day we try to make it better we're trying to spread good vibes and of course at the same time we try to encourage oh, people to MK1. And when Febs and I see that it's getting out of hand in the chat and the entire mood yeah. shifts into pure toxicity, negativity, we just have to step in. But I never mean it in yeah. a personal way. I'm just trying to create, Leave I don't want to say a safe space for everyone, but a good environment to chill in. That's what it's all about. And I think that's what makes the arena so special. A beautiful community, some great gameplay, some great commentators. And of course, there's going to be toxicity from time to time. And that is not a problem at all. But if it's getting too much, you know, the bald man is going to step in. Yeah. So let's take a look at this last match, Fabs. Rinsla versus Kafersko. Can we get some emos in the chat for the good vibes? We love you. If you guys want to be toxic, do it when you're in the game and see that. Not in the chat. Your peace is nothing but a pressure. All right, Lime. Oh, I love yo the the hair on this Lime. This skin is beautiful. Wow. Fabs, have you read your arena contract as a commentator? You're not allowed to talk about hair. Oh. No salary this month. Gg's. <laughs> I forget about the, I, sometimes I forget about the jokes, you know. I, <laughs> I, I, just, I just accepted it. And, uh, the ball jokes. It's crazy. Alright. So taking a Lime on this. Oh, did he just use Tujinko as a... Oh my god. The tech your first one has here. I, I don't think you guys understand what it is. This men play bottom one cameo, bottom one main character. And these two are now, like, really, really strong when they got buffed. So... Like, yeah, so much time. Oh, he, he, he can launch with her own projectile. The health difference That's is best. crazy. 1200, 950, and he can launch with a projectile against her. Round what? Two. Fight. You chilling out? No combo? Beautiful. I guess the full conversion. I love that Rinse was bringing that Lee Mei. He to wake up, but he's using every single option. And also, Havoc gets a proper wake up uh, with Shujenko against Lee Mei. Not just the armor, you know, but has a good and vulnerable move. Good duck. Two. One more. 
Oh, but he keeps using it. Wake up, Shujinko, baby. That's how we roll tonight. Both players trying to get that last spot in semi-finals. Life lead in favor of Kefersko. Oh! Punishable. Oh, but the armor! Wait, that's uh, Rinsler safe? hitting the jackpot? Is that most safe? Hmm. Mind blown to learn. This, if there's one thing I don't know much about this game, it's Shujinko. And I love learning Shujinko through Kefersko, because wow. Yeah, and Kefersko plays this character yeah, since cool. day one. We all know it. He struggled in so many different matchups back then, when Shujinko, uh, Havoc was just a bad character. But now he really, really shines, and in my opinion, he deserves it. So I'm saying the health difference doesn't seem fair. Yeah, it, I'm not the biggest fan of health adjustments, to be honest, in MK games in general. I, I think it's a very lazy approach in terms of balancing, even with cameos involved. I can see the decision making behind it, but I'm not the biggest fan, Fabs. I know, right? I think, um, especially for fighting games, like the balancing on the health is just, especially in a game like Mortal Kombat where there's so many like like even the stages can be different you know and, and the, uh, there's so many factors to it yep, the timer right. the stage the, and then I like put this life Bro, what, on someone what kind of characters is Rinsla bringing is that Sector? oh good luck good luck playing against this team Shujinko, living this boys. Sector Motaro big body Mo and Sector Another is havoc? Very, very zone heavy. What very, very zone mean? heavy. And then all every time she armors, she can just Sechin teleport out. I don't know why they gave Sechin teleport to uh, Motaro, but yeah. Jump, down back one. Jump, down back one. Oh! Armor, goodbye. This team is very yeah, hard it's gonna be to catch. Just a runaway game plan. No, he finds it. He was like, yo, goodbye. <laughs> And I think he just uh, activated his um, armor bug, which he gets the double flame on meterless. So it's, it's, it's usually not intentional. It's just when you try to armor. Uh, it, it, most likely, every time that happens, it's never intentional, you know? So yeah, now he gets the meterless flamethrower. That combo? Beautiful. In this, they can the uh, sector picks seem to work out for Rexa. Yeah, because now he has to actually like walk in neutral, not lie his way through. This actually might be good because the first has to change cameos here because he wants to get in. You know? Ooh, wait, wait a minute. How much? Put, uh, it's about 47, 46, something like that. Unless this is death. I don't think so. 47. Mm. Oh, you're right, one more. It is even 48. more. 48. Oh my. The fatal blow damage is always so weird to calculate right. here in this game. It's funny. Right. So far, Shujinko, I'm seeing uh, he steals that miss missile from Sector. Probably the Tele Punch as well. Oh my. Nice grab. Can't you jingle bring out like a, like a rocket launcher? It's so funny. Shout out to Rinzer for trying to zone out a character with 1200 HP as well. Very insane stuff. Unblockable? Beautiful. Well, Wait, how much is the breaker. Oh, the mix! Overheads. That combo. Damn! I haven't seen him go for the Faisal mix. The sitting two into scoop. Very honest to jingle right here. Very honest havoc. Oh, 
Oh, the inside here. Oh, that is good. But wait a minute. They didn't get his purpose and he dies oh, for it. Oh, my God. The right. Dropping the killing combo. Oh, that's good. Oh, but the hurt. scaling is... The scaling is rough, but of course, there's barely any HP left. And Goku asking, is Cypher fun to learn? I think so, but it depends what is your definition of fun. But uh, I think Sector is a DLC, uh, DLC character. You can have a lot of playstyles with her. You can have a zoning playstyle, you can have a mid range playstyle, close range playstyle. You just uh, mix and play off of your 50 50s. So definitely really cool to learn for sure. Rinza right here playing the, I think her most optimal way to play is zoning. So. Neck breaker. Not Won't do much enough. damage. But, where's your Jinko? There we go. Oh, he went for the mix, but the wake up poke from Rinzer just deleted it. Wow. That was the first time I saw Kapriska go for a mix up attempt with spinning through. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? That's what I'm saying. Phelps, wait, what? what? It should have interrupted. Who's doing this again? I didn't connect. Oh, the shimmy. Cast meter. Cast meter. Another one. And just closes it out. Wait, we, Chet, we have to take a look at this replay. Where, where did it go? I think since she was in a grab animation. Brutality. I don't understand. It, I was expecting it to hit, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. I'm like, where the hell did it go? Ooh, and I'm not talking about my hair chat. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> the hair straight, always present. So here it is. I think, was it because he got hit earlier, Fabs, that it disappeared because of it? No idea. I've, no, I've, I don't think I've seen that interaction once. Having players can maybe explain. Wait, Spicy also trying to... Wait, let me... We need a hair transplant command. Hair transplant command. At one million gifts. Spicy, I got you. It is not the kind you're fighting for. Round one, fight. Here we go. Third one confirmed. Immediate response there. One combo only puts them at a hundred health differential. <laughs> okay, spicy, it works now. Do it again. Exclamation mark. Air transfer. New command. Let's go. Oh, the double. Thank you. Hundred thousand. What? <laughs> yeah, I understand him. Honestly, understand him. Oh no, the zoning, the zoning. Finds the opening with the port four. No, no commitment though. Ow, that hurts. The sweep. Oh. And Rinsa slowly waking up everyone. I wonder why the first is not going for sending through scoop. That's like a Three frame fuzzy, impossible to fuzzy almost. Launch. Let's go. Anti -air, anti -air. Beautiful. Yep. Oh, you have to juggle a little bit there to adjust the height to go for the scoop in the anti air combo. Good luck. Oh my, that was a punish! Good stuff from Kufursko. And this is, this oh. is a close match, and now they'll draw both of them, leaving some damage on the table tonight. Wait, no breaker? From Rinsler? Okay. I respect the 420 damage. Final round, fight. This is so close. Let's see who's gonna take the lead, who's gonna get that 2 1 lead. These punishes are insane. That doesn't get much damage off of it. So 
any trades. Fans these days are playing Call of Duty. Oh, I got punished this time. This is painful for your first goal for sure. The triple dash. Oh, the whip. Yeah, definitely like one of those matchups where it's just painful for him to get in. Is this the answer to Havoc? Good old zoning. The first is sitting there blocking for his life. And on top of that, he only has 7% left. Never mind. That's oh. gonna do it. Rinsla takes the lead. Nothing can stop me. Brutality. Sector win. The chat prediction is kind of interesting as well, Fabs. I, I think we haven't even talked about it. 83% on Kafersko. Wow. Set to Motaro Okay, okay let's see. Mansion. Is there a point to this fight, Havoc? To teach you the meaning of chaos. <laughs> Round one, fight! Yeah, but Rinslan, Rinslan is Sector. Actually, the character pick works out insanely well for him. I know, right? I mean, Evo might not like it, but like, this is what Sector was kind of designed for. So just keep away all the characters that can mix up and bully her up close. And she does both I'm, of that, but exceptionally good mix. I'm so surprised that we didn't realize the full zoning potential day one, you know, in our day one tournament with Sector. No one really played her as a zoner, which is of course understandable, but we didn't even really see the potential of her. Yeah, oh, that was a punish on his attempt to punish her. Wow. That move in the air, the air grenade launcher, has almost no recovery when she lands. Like, that move? Most, like, air zoning moves in this game have barely any recovery, so they're pretty sick. Oh my god, the mix. I, mean, I think you can also play some really insane evil version of this. Which is uh, Sector Tonya. Not only she gets zoning, but she gets mixed from like so far. Let's oh, go. Let's go there into the back chilling. Alright. He might get the um, unblockable. There we go. Into a Shujinko conversion, right? If I know. Oh, oh for the drop. Drop That's crazy. Dropping the two hit potential the Havoc has with three bars. Shujinko with a rocket launcher. Man, I got you. 40 health for Rinsler and Fatal Blow as well. Good stuff. Final round. Fight. So now it's the question. Is it going to be a game five or is Rinsler meeting so sad in semifinals? Again, he's gone. Oh, it's so hard to catch her. All right, let's go. What's for Oki? Same old reliable jump down back one. But it feels like this match takes forever. I feel like I got two years older here. Is this the way to just stay havoc? Stop. Oh my god. Jenko, hello? Bro, Rinsla, at this oh. point you have to pay us to stay overtime here. Oh wait! Motaro said, you know what? You're not going anywhere. Stay right here. 
Wait. He has three bars. He has three bars. We dropped. No. Perhaps the, the combo drops are insanely sad for both of them. There we go. There we go. First to alive in the set. That's the first time I see Havoc with three bars. Not going for the full killing potential. I, I actually jinx it. Game five. Okay, Game five. Chat. We need the entire community to wake up one more time. Fabs, talk to them. Oh, I need 500 emotes in the chat. At least. And, uh, at least, of course. And also, please, make sure to support your favorite player because uh, they need your strength for sure because this matchup looks painful for either of them, actually. When Kefirsto gets in, I see <laughs> I see Rinzer panicking <laughs> yeah, there as well. It's insane. That's right. I think it's kind of uncomfortable for both of them. Just don't go, just don't go Raker. Yeah, yeah. Just don't go Raker. But okay, chat. I'm pressing that button. You guys go crazy. And once again, thank you for supporting us. Let's go. Round one, fight. Ooh, I like he just walks forward. Little NPC walk there, but that seems to be working. The uh, instead of dashing, you know, because when you're dashing, you lose some of the blocking properties. You might not be able to block immediately when you dash. So walking might be better. Rinsla in the driver's nice. seat, baby. Good blocks. Go oh, catch wait, 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 wait. return. Snap it. Imagine he. Wait, what? Uh, Perhaps the drops. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, the, the drops are kind of killing him right now. I feel like it's just, it's just tough, man. Some of these uh, auto correction issues can affect anyone. Little American reset in the mid. Oh. Time to go. Round two. Fight. Man, how long did this set take? Like, honestly. I think almost 20 minutes. <laughs> Overhead. Confirm into Motaro. 40. Oh no. The first goal? Just what? Walk the dog. Yeah, Rinzer's taking his time to just this offense. Oh, gambles it all on the backboard too. And that might have been what seals the deal here. Because the first being to all those bars in case he got a hit. Not out yet, but it's gonna be really tough for him to come back from this. It is so oh, impossible, but wait a minute, never say never. Rinzer, no hit for him. Tries to go for the throw. Still alive. The first oh, he has a dream. Oh, no man. way. Wait a minute. Fabs, this is hit. possible. One hit. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. Rinsler <laughs> finally takes it after an eternity. That was crazy. That was insane. No, that really was an insane set. I gotta say it. Unfortunately, Kafursko's journey has come to an end since this is single elimination all the way. We talked about it earlier. And perhaps that means we finally made it into the semifinals of our event coming up next. And that is going to be a banger. Pyrex versus Nuji. Pyrex Nuji is going to be this, uh, probably the crowd favorites. Wherever they go, Fabs, people are able to just... This is going to yeah. be the exact opposite from Rinsla versus Gefersko. This is going to be the fast, oh. fast-paced match ever. Especially since Nuji wants to play some uh, some more Call of Duty today. Nuji is going to ball roll from left to right. First might be the only Havoc player that says, I don't like to mix. Predictions are yeah. up. Players are in the lobby. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy the show so far. Thank you so much for spending time with us, even though we're, you know, live way later than usual. Robocop is saying still going. Robocop, yeah, we're trying to work a little bit overtime today. We just made it to the semifinals, Robos. I think we still have an hour left. Yeah, we got round two. And then grand finals. Wait, wait, wait. His mic is on before the game even starts? Why is he already talking? Oh my god. I will gladly help sniff him out. Round one, fight. Ball roll. Oh, that's the AFK tech. That's the AFK tech. Watch it. What the? What, 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 Bro, what the? <laughs> Bro, what the heck? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're both dark times, aren't they? <laughs> what? Is he go for the full team? Are we just not gonna commentate this and let, let them do their thing? I don't know what you're talking about, Fabs. I'm in bed already. Oh my god! Bro, what is this weird noise no noise Nuji is doing? Nuji also became infected. Oh god. I can hear the button mashing. <laughs> That's Nuji's controller. <laughs> That's his controller? <laughs> oh, that is actually hilarious. This might be the best, the greatest set ever. Why is he pressing the button doing the grab? Oh, wake up back three! Armor breaker! Oh god. Are we gonna have death sounds? We might have for the first time. He's making sound effects. For I think, I think this might have just... I cannot believe that Diddley actually subscribed during this set. I respect this. Thank you. I have no words for this. The fact that one of them is going to make it through. We, we, we have to see one of these guys in the grand finals, by the way. Ooh, I like this. The fact that he's doing these optimal punishes is crazy as well. Bro, these... 
these mashing noises actually they make drive me crazy first. like they calm down a little bit like we we have control of this stream. never mind we don't have this is this is our stream this is not our stream by the way another mix God. breaker dropped early for the mix again and gets the breaker this time doesn't get shimmy Muji, it's your turn to go for the fatal blow it is your turn to go for the fatal blow not, not fatal blow fatality oh Nuji, it is your turn for the sound effects. Guys, the next voice actress for the game. No sex, no nothing. Bro, what? Stormbreaker. No messages. Ten gifted subs punishment. Oh my. Mix. Nuji. On the way to grand finals if he keeps winning. How are these sounds possible? But you know what I literally cannot understand? That we have 450 people watching this right now and they are not leaving. I thought. I was the one like in the wrong for watching this and being they're also there sitting down enjoying it. Sound effect. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Do they understand each other? Guys, honestly, how is it possible that we're close to a freaking hype train? Like, how? How is this even possible, Fabs? <laughs> the sound effects are killing me. I can't lie. This is. Fabs, you know what the community is basically telling us? These two, these two are doing a better job on the mic than we do. I know, right? They, they, this is what they want. No, Robo. No, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even going to say thank you for this one, Robo. I'm not even going to say thank you. No. Ah, I can't. Much love to you, Robo. Thank you so much. No, Robo, it depends. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Good blast, blast.
UFO stuff. Ooh. Get the punish. I thought the gameplay is just as crazy as the two people in the mic, you know? Just random stuff. Honsky is saying, not gonna lie, I think Fabs just lost his place commentating these I two. I did. Fabs yep. and I, we yep. both literally lost our jobs right now, as yep. you guys are watching. It is over for me. It's over for both of us, Fabs. <laughs> you send the invites and don't talk anymore. Sweaty as hell is so scary, man. I can't believe this. Oh, wake up in a moment. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh my god. Fabs, why have we done this? Oh! Wait, how does this end? How does this end? Random ball roll. Okay, chat. Let me switch the camera real quick. First of all, I want to apologize to everyone watching this here on Twitch, everyone watching this on YouTube. Perhaps that was one, maybe even the craziest match I ever witnessed in MK1's history. Maybe my even in the entire in my entire stream career. I honestly don't even understand what happened, but uh, it was definitely, let me say it, a special experience for all of us. This is special. This is definitely special. Wow, shout out to Nuji and uh and Felix for putting up a show. This was sick. I so enjoyed guys. it, but I'm glad it's over. Yes, and that means now we have to take a look at our bracket fabs because coming up next, we're gonna find out who is gonna meet Pyrex in grand finals. Is it so sad? Or is it Rinsler? On paper, this upcoming match is going to be super, super hype for several reasons. We have Rinsler, who is a former arena champion, and Soset, who is literally playing out of his mind lately in these last weeks. Fabs, I, I know you... I think no one can literally predict who's going to win this. I have no idea. I have no idea, no idea. But... We know that Rinsler has won a season of the arena whenever all the big boys were you know in final combat which means so sad needs to prove himself here can he take out another champion of the arena because he did that before back in the days you know in the, in the qualifiers but let's see if he can do it again yeah and let's find out I mean, prediction is already up and it is a close one that's what i expected 50 50. Pyrex, if you're listening to the stream please leave the lobby The players are here, Fabs, we are good to go. Only two remaining sets. And once again, a big thank you to this community, especially to Robo here for the big subscription gift. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you for staying with us. Even throughout this last set, Fabs, everyone was here. I mean, they, they, they stick for more, you know. In the arena, you got high-level gameplay. You have casual gameplay. 
you have Sick. shenanigans we have, back we have and forth. We have everything. Everything, everything, everything every except day. hair chat. <laughs> if nobody makes fun of his hair, he makes <laughs> no fun of his hair. Then I have to make it on my own. Yes, someone has the tea house. Together we have trod paths of glory. All right. How many final more game us, of round two. Winner of this goes to meet Pyrrhix in grand finals for a hundred dollars. That is true Sponsored first. by Smile Chimp. Let's go. Ooh, Reiko, shout. Round one, fight. First hit. Good flawless. Let's see how Sosen handles it. Ooh, nice touch. For the hit again, both these characters kind of like have disadvantages in neutral, you know, but they also have really strong things in neutral as well. So it's crazy how they work. Like, Rake when having good standing one, not a good job, but then Shao having one of the best jabs in the game. It is a, it is a good matchup, in my opinion. Yeah, then Shao having bad pokes, and Rake having one of the best pokes in the game. You know what I mean? Ooh! What was that? Hater break? Can I hater break this way out of this one because of that command grab? And that is going to be the round, uh, the first round in Soul Set's favor. And that is, of course, round a solid start, giving him a little bit of momentum. But Rinsler is known for bringing it back so many times. We just saw it in his previous match as well. Stuff. Look at the opening and gets the block after. Nice. Are we stuff playing mind games me? around that strike throw. I mean, Rayco has so oh. many options, right? You have the command grab, you have that low, you have that overhead, and it is just annoying to keep finding yourself in the same loop. Yeah, also his sweep and his overhead are both. Um, uh, his sweep is plus, and he also has his Fight. plus eight advancing high move, which is insane. He has a good tools in his uh, yeah, arsenal. He's a very, very strong character. Good with punish. And good awareness that the rocket is coming down as well. Stuff. Again, I don't see someone use that sector up uh, telepunch as much as Sosa does. We get the command grab breaker out. Tremor unavailable for a few seconds. A few buttons getting pressed tonight. And don't forget, everyone, after Ooh. this, only one remaining match. It is gonna be grand finals time. Pyrrhix is waiting for the winner of this. Oh, yeah, he's waiting. Nice! Has a meter lead. That fiddle won't kill him immediately. Oh, what a jab! That's a mix! Good stuff. Usher needs life. Tremor! And that is the kill. Game one. That is going to be rinsed oh. right into the boot. Ooh. Okay. Life was wasted on you. Brutality. Reiko wins. Man, it is a long day here in the arena, but perhaps I'm... I don't know. I enjoy these single elimination top eights from time to time, especially with a prize pool on the line. But let's see who's going to get it. Let me ask the chat once again. Chat, who, who is winning this entire thing? Is it Pyrrhix, Soulset, or Rinsler? Drop it in the chat right now. Rizzer with the rake. Both Soulset with Shao. The general. We'll Melina's troops as we did the Kai Ten. Round one, fight. Up lock. Insane defense. Both these guys have really good fundamentals in neutral. Mid checks. Oh my god, so sad. Getting torn apart right now. Plus 
frame. She's gonna respect it. Again, look at this mix. This pressure. Plus eight. Grab. Not done yet. Pops the crystalline armor. Final boss, Sosa just walking forward. Fearless right now. And he's one hit. He might feel like a little walk back into lollipop swing. <laughs> so that strike throw in place, but the boy doesn't really have much HP to play with. Ooh! Wait a minute. Oh, he found him! He found the lollipop swing! He punished the poke! That's, mix, that's mix. you doing it. There he is the mix it. you're he talking it. about. He does it. He is insane. He is simply, simply unbelievable. Just, 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 just. What the hell was that? Round two. Fight. Over at time. Yeah, both of them, but only one of them has a launching over it. Nice stuff. Oh, the uplock punish. That's gonna be 17 damage. So sad. Another grab. Very, very strike throw heavy right now. I was about to mention the same thing, Fabs. Oh, finds a hit. I didn't believe in it though. Maybe he thought the sector miss. I would have uh, converted that. The trade. So sad. Now with the lead. And that round was so huge for him, honestly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, he's back. That is a lot of damage, but Rinsa needs more than this. So what's gonna happen here is, I think Reiko gets OP from this? And he's gonna go for Shrek though. Yeah. But he immediately presses! <laughs> that was so disgusting. So sad decided, you know what, am I gonna hold the mix, or am I gonna go for wake up violence? And the answer was obvious. I this mean, is gonna say where... we love wake up violence yes sir yeah exactly he had three bars he knew uh Rinzer wanted to mix him to get the win he was like you know what the risk this is worth taking and he immediately presses rewarded infuriates me that Liu Kang is our creator as it should Reiko round one fight So the thing, where's Pyrrhix? Pyrrhix is waiting in grand finals for the winner of this one. Right now, Rinsa in the corner. Try to wake oh. up buttons as well, but so it was ready. Outspaced him. Saying hello, my friend. Those walk packs and dolly pop strings are so, so good from, from uh, so sad. Like it's a shout special. Unsafe. Beautiful stuff. Oh, he does not want to be near so sad at one bit, but be careful though. Sector fatal blow. Any whiff here? Oh! Doesn't need to whiff. Doesn't need to. We should punish that with a back three? Insane. I thought he was going to rely on the sector fatal blows for the whiff punish, but no. Damn. What a punish that was. That just shows the level of so sad. This guy does not let anything yeah. slide in neutral. We have two killers on the big stage right now. Very, very impressive gameplay, but of course they can only be one faps. You know, single elimination, that's the beauty of it. Nice. Oh, that down to boss. Good, great awareness from Rinsler. Yeah, wins that trade big time. Oh no. Axe down. Watch the armor. Today's lesson. Final round. 
fight. Oh my, just like that. Yo, what? Like mind games again around that cameo move. You can, of course, you know, make it two hits, yeah. but then it has a flawless block. Yeah, if you cancel it early, dude, like, and your opponent expects it, you can actually take a turn, but... Yes, and it's not even that minus, right? The first hit alone, yeah. I think, as a, like as a standalone, three? but I think it's minus, mi or minus three, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's, really, it's really good. You see people so comfortable moving after because they know it's, it's like a, one of those uh, mind games. Defense. Doesn't even go for anti air, she's up block. Oh, he knows. He knew he was going to go for a mix up, and if someone is going for a mix up after plus frames, they for sure don't have enough uh, advantage. Oh, look at this. Now the mix begins, Fabs. Eggs on the ground. Oh, boy. And now Rinse has to guys. Overhead, low, command trap. Beautiful conversion has to break here. Would have been so much damage otherwise. The fact that he covered for the wake up jump is oh, insane. Work. And he jumps after whipping that. Violent. Man, so sad. Right insane. now, he really wants to win this entire thing. I mean, 100 bucks on the line, not too shabby for playing MK for 90 minutes. I know, right? For hopping on a, a top A special single elimination. And perhaps it is unbelievable that we literally have 500 people here throughout the entire stream for four hours, basically. This community really is special, guys. Thank you so much. General Shaw. I think it's so cool, Fabs, that we in the arena, we can New literally host side. events whenever we want, even like super spontaneous, you know, and the people are just going to show up and uh, chill with us. This is the thing about having a community this big. Hey, you can just say, yo, guys, let's host an extra one today. Boom, people show up to play and to watch. Yes. And to watch, right? Incredible. I love my family here in the arena. Oh, that's right, yeah. The same here. Guys, believe it or not, when I started, it was so hard finding players. Like, honestly. Back, back in the now. days, Robo and I, we always had to play on our own, you know, because we just didn't get any sign-ups and no one wanted to play in our events. And, and look now, Fabs, no. makes me so proud. They all come to the boy. Big stage. Shout out to everyone watching as well. It's beautiful Saturday. This is round two. Semi-finals. We don't know if this advances to play against Pyrrhus. We are so close to that grand finale. Pyrrhus is waiting. Pyrrhus is taking notes right now, analyzing oh, yeah. these two players. Like, how can I win this tournament while still making noises? Hmm. Oh my, just raw! A reversal? Insane! Beautiful stuff. Yo, this, this, uh, Noob Cybot pick seems like he just put Rinzo in a bad position. Because Sosa has a download on this Noob Cybot before he even played him. So that he is so wow. close, Fabs. He can literally smell it. He can smell that price point. That no. upload was phenomenal. That's the upload of someone that just knows. That upload might have not done much damage, but like he took his breaker out. Patience. Buffs up. And he knows. Almost got the whip punish there. Yo, and I see my boy Mr. Aquaman in the chat raiding us with 71 people. Thank you so much, my friend. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Everyone joining us from the Coliseum side, welcome to the arena. We're hosting a crazy single elimination top eight right now. 100 bucks on the line. And we're seeing some spicy matchups. So grab a drink, grab some snacks, and chill with us. Third grand finals up next, so. Do not miss out. Get the zoning from Rinsler though. Getting closer. Oh, it goes for the unsafe low. That was an input error for sure. Because literally no fear. Low. No fear from both of them. Oh no. Oh no. Five health left. Five health left. So said is the type of guy to just make this comeback. Oh my god. He jumped. If he got the jump over and Rinsler whiffed, that would have been a punish into Fatal Blow. 
Pirates. So he wants that game five. He wants to see the arena burn, and that is going to be a lot of damage. But don't forget, General Shao built like a freaking tank. 1100 HP. Oh! What the hell? No, no insane! But there was Don't the button faps. Excuse me. Futuristic tools, you know, guys from the future. This man is playing a different game. This is FK12 right now. K12, literally. New patch. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. That reminded me so much of these down two baits in MK11. Yep, 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 yep. yep. That was that, disgusting. That was, so said that might that be a DQ. I'm sorry. That is a winner. That is the winner tech. Look at his movement. Baiting uh, for a Rinsa. risk from Rinsler. Rinsa is looking for an answer, but right now, so that he doesn't even have to commit. He can literally just relax. Plus frames, more pressure incoming. Rockets flying all over the place. Good block. And Don't do it. No way that it happened a second time. So set. Guarantees that spot in Grand Finals. And ladies and gentlemen, especially everyone who joined us from the Colosseum side right now. We only have one remaining set left, and that is going to be Soset versus Pyrex. And for everyone who is not aware who Pyrex is, you guys are in for a little treat, you know? It is a very <laughs> special player. I think that's the perfect way to describe him. And yes, Soset, you can stay in the lobby. And in the meantime, I'm getting Pyrex back into this bad boy. And then we're going to see who is going to get this juicy payout tonight. For the money. Let's see. Invite is already out. I'm quite curious about the chat prediction as always. Pyrex played out of his mind in the upper bracket. But so said, I have to be honest with you, Fabs. Very hard to beat in these last weeks. So said is like such a strong defensive player, man. You really have to be honest in neutral against him. And I think the players he struggles the most are the ones who are uh, who get passed beyond that layer of counterplay that he enforces where you like you can't. BS your way sure. in neutral to get to him. Like, you really have to just be honest and play his game. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. But wait a minute. What well, America? We see? I see Peacemaker on the right. Everyone in the chat, go crazy one more time. I see Spicy trying to kick off another hype train here during our grand finale. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. And of course, Fabs, for that last showdown, we are bringing the Red Scoreboard, baby. If I remember correctly, Pyrrhic changes his accent whenever he plays Peacemaker. Oh, that is true, yeah. Oh, Peacemaker he's been playing has been gaining some more experience. I see the way Neutral already moves. I can tell. This is different. That's the punish on block, though. Good stuff. Eagly on block. Not safe against Shao off of pokes and strings because he can dash up and jab. I think no one expected the Peacemaker pick in the first place. For everyone who's not aware, Pyrex is usually a, a Raka main through and through. Mix. Oh, delayed overhead into low. So much mix here going on. Pyrex not being able to block anything. For Soset, it's just another day in the office. Soset is so confident. He already ordered something on Amazon Prime with that Pice Money Fabs and chose the pay later option. He's like, smile, chimp, I got you in a week. He's looking for something. Use so much meter, though. Pyrrhic's in trouble. Got a false block or a jump. Oh. The day you die. Round two. And someone asking what's better, medium, short, or long input window? It depends what character you play. Gravity. Blocks. Looking for the opening. Oh, Pyrrhus is blocking for so long. And there we go. Finds the opening through Sosa's overcommitment. And now we're going to the corner. And this could be dangerous. Ooh. Did you see Pyrrhus? How he blocks? Right. Like low, up lock, low, up lock. <laughs> He's trying right. to get both options at the same time. Punishable one block. Can I be doing that against Shao? We might see him switch, honestly. Oh my god, conversion! That sector fit. Sector miss out, and so said, are like one person. 
And that is a statement being sent by Soulset saying, you know what, I'm happy you made it to the finale, but I'm winning this entire tourney. I'm clearing this tourney. General Shao wins. The chat is saying he needs Baraka. I'm curious if Pyrrhix is gonna switch. We haven't even talked about the chat prediction. Fabs, we are the most terrible hosts out there. <laughs> Let's take a look at it together. What does the community think? And it is very one-sided, actually. 617,000 points on Soset. Wow. On a grand final, this is pretty decisive, honestly. And there we go. Barack. Seems like uh, he didn't get what he wanted from that matchup. The fact that uh, Shao is able to punish Eagly into... Wait, you have Pyrrhic? I think you have Pyrrhic muted, by the way. Oh, wait, I think I muted him because I, I, I was talking to the community. Chat, do it. Okay, let me ask the chat. Everyone drop a one in the chat if we should unmute Pyrrhic. Drop a two in the chat if we should keep him muted. You guys decide. Okay, uh, what, what am I even asking? Temple of Kataravala. You served in the Daybreak Legion. First to rise, first to Pyrrhic is back. Last to die. There we go. <laughs> Stormbreaker with the five late night subs. Stormbreaker, thank you so much for the support, brother. Guys, honestly, thank you for, for making this top eight here possible. Smile Chimp, everyone involved, you know. Yes. So the best good, community man, ever. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So supportive, man. These people are beautiful. I love they really are. The whole there we go. The, the Baraka. Seems like the Shao, uh, the, the um, Peacemaker kept getting punished. With low eaglies and stuff like that, so. Mm. Can I break? Decisive round here for Soset again. Perhaps this is grand finale, right? How does Soset make it look so easy? Yeah, he is easy. Round two. Fight. Okay. Oh, but it's that could have been a trade combo. Oh my god. That we're he was waiting. Was criminal. He was waiting. Yeah, but I mean both of these characters are known for having that standing too, which is like like this advancing high move. So you can duck it if you like predict it, right? And so sad is not afraid of it. Got caught by the second hit and another one. That back one. Not a lot of shells use that mid on the regular. Oh, gets opened up at the mid mid low. Delicious like an overhead and goes straight for the fatal blow. And now this is tricky because he can have an Oki, but he has no meter, nothing to follow this up. But he has to go for fatal blow here to cash out Max. But has to open up so sad like maybe two to three times. Wait. Wake up. Fatal did it work? Oh. A little clash here between those cameos. Yeah, the wake up fatal blow from the, the fatal blow from Sector's kind of bugged, so he took no damage there from the Kano. Again, it's safe. Fury has and to jump. Fury so has to be very, very careful. He has to wait for the for, for Sector, and there we go, fatal again. Oh, it doesn't have to go. Okay, perfect. Operation. I think he went for fatal again. He would have killed it. Shit. Anyways. Wow. This is tough for Pyrrhix. It's very, really very is. tough. Soulset right now looking absolutely unstoppable since the start of this entire top eight. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. I don't know what's happened. The only thing I know, Fabs, is that Soulset all of a sudden took a break for several weeks and then came back stronger than ever. Sometimes that's maybe the secret to competitive MK1, you know? Take a break, relax a little bit, and come back fully recharged, and that might be the result. General Shah, Baraka, Sektor, Kano, the Hourglass. To win, you tear Outworld down to its foundations if I have to. Round one, fight. Oh! <laughs> 
go. Game three, and so sad. On the way to secure this tournament if he keeps playing this consistently. Wow, we might actually have a winner here if we uh, keep showing no signs of weakness in this set. It blocks. Still under pressure. Pyrex looking for the opening. Armor is able to as well. But folks, let's be honest. At the end of the day, Pyrex needs a reversal 3 0 versus Sosat. Oh, the auto block. Wait, the poke special works? Has to be cash out. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be enough regardless. Yeah, he also has a copter and he wants to go for some reason, but this should, this should be at least 40. Good stuff from Pyrrhic. Poke special though, saving him. I've nothing to lose. Round two, fight. Nice. The double up, the no mix oh. mix up, and now we slide in that overhead. Damn, he just. Sosa is one round away. Bro, I, I'm like watching this. It's amazed at how he dropped the round early and he just immediately switched it back by making small adjustments in his gameplay. Here it has to block for his life here. Axe down. Microduck there does not get punished for it though. So, so close. Very close to a whiff punish as well, actually. No breaker for Pyrrhix. So, two more launches in here. Oh my god. Sector out. That combo's. Ooh, barely! I think they messed up the timing. Good block. Breaker available, though. P-Rex, oh, interrupt, ballsy buttons here from Sosa on Wake Up. Just armoring oh, through his P-Rex. This is so close, Taps. 2.7 health. Cross block, cross block, cross block. Can't no, you have the whole get block. it. And just like that, we have a winner. And I have to say, winning in a very dominant way tonight is Sosa. Tearing his way through this entire bracket. And of course, securing that $100 prize pool. I have to say, Fabs, that was a wonderful tourney, especially that, you know, one set, you know, we're talking about, because I was able to just relax for 20 minutes and do absolutely <laughs> nothing. But guys, of course, the most important thing is, first of all, let me show you the final bracket for everyone who maybe just tuned in. This is it. Congratulations to Soulset. A big thank you, of course, to every single player and especially to Smile Chimp for offering the prize pool for these guys. An absolute legend. Thank you so much for keeping the competitive players playing. But at the same time, a big thank you here to my boy Fabs as well for commentating with me for four hours, literally <laughs> saying, you know what, whenever you need me, I'm going to be work. there. Fabs, we appreciate you. I think I speak for everyone. Can I get some big Fs in the chat for Fabs, who's literally always carrying me here on the commentary side. Fabs, did you enjoy it? I loved it, man. This was awesome. Uh, lots of fun. Very unpredictable tournament. Yes, I'm not going to yes. lie. Lots of up and downs. And I really had lots of fun commentating. Hope you guys had fun watching. And I also hope, Rip, you had fun. Of course. You know, hosting I, with me. I had an absolute blast. So, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to send you over to a very old friend of mine. He's not playing MK right now, but he's chilling with five viewers. And you guys, do me a favor. Go crazy. Bring some hype in his chat because he's going to get a heart attack. I appreciate you guys. We're going to be back tomorrow. Of course, you know, we don't take any days off in the arena. You guys stay safe. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much for everything you guys do for us on a daily basis. Bye-bye. We're out. Peace out, guys.